So a gentle high and as you might see on the title page simulation diagram. We're going to talk about simulation diagram today and so the first question comes obviously is what is simulation diagram. Simulation diagram is expressing your input output relationship of a system in an algorithmic way that's similar to how computers think but it is exactly opposite to how your intuitions work. So it might be difficult for you to grasp in very beginning but also get the secret of the simulation diagram is going to be easy and systematic. So firstly we are going to know about some of the basic operators that rules this simulation diagram process. Firstly there is going to be adder or summation sign that it basically adds or subtracts your inputs based on the sign on the arrowhead like here the in the arrowhead there's positive for x and negative for z so the output is going to be plus x minus j now there is going to be multiplier which if given input x and the multiplication factor is k then the output is simply going to be k times x and there is going to be integrator about integrator you always want to think the left if the output is y then obviously for integrator the input has to be dy over dx if the output is would be dy over dx then the input had to be the double derivative of y with respect to x okay so firstly we're gonna there are two simulation diagrams possible canonical form one and canonical form two canonical form one is the less advanced way of, of thinking algorithmically we're gonna do two things we are going to first have a simulation diagram read it and write down it, the differential equation in of system from the simulation diagram and secondly we are going to have a differential equation and build our own simulation diagram which is canonical form one so what is canonical form one canonical form one is a more centrified version as i will explain later in canonical form 1, you decide earlier what is going to be your first derivative, second derivative and you put input according to that. I will explain these sentences later on. First, I come to this process. It is given that this is our simulation diagram of canonical 1 form and we want to find out the differential equation. So firstly, how are you going to do that? Because really there are a lot of feedbacks and a lot of signs. The thumb rule is whatever happens you want to come onto the junction that's the leftmost of all the integrator signs why so you have to understand the algorithm we are we want differential equation in the right of integrator there is going to be integrals and in the left there is going to be derivatives now you want differential equation so you should avoid the derivatives so you should come to the junction that has you should avoid the integrals so you should come to the junction that has all derivatives and no integrals that's why you have to come to the leftmost of all integral sign so uh, basically we're gonna equate in this junction the inputs and outputs the left side and the right hand side what's the left side left side is simply 2x minus y so you have to write that 2x minus y and it has to equate with the right side this is all this blank portion so um, how we're gonna define the right side it seems like a real mess it's a systematic look there are two uh, two integral signs that means there is going to be maximum derivative of two so i'm going to write d square some there are some going to be d square terms and some going to be d terms that means only single derivative terms now which terms are going to be derivative a square the, those terms have to go through two integrators, right? So which term go through two integrators in the simulation diagram? Simply y, right? So the idea to find out the d square term was to see wh which uh, which of our term went through the double integrator. So that was uh, simply y. Now which would be our only different only d? That means which will have only derivative that goes through simply one integrator that means this junction now let this junction be z let this junction be p all right now we know z plus 4x plus 4y will have to be p z is equals to p minus 4x minus 4y 
so the thing that goes through a single derivative is equals to minus 4x minus 4y and p now this junction this junction is already handled in this ds curve process and these are the things with respect to x and y which goes through only one derivative and they're simply minus 4x minus 4y so if you want to build out the ultimate differential equation it's going to be twice x minus y is equals to d to the power y divided by dt square plus minus 4 dx over dt minus 4 dy by dt and that is your system's differential equation you see it is easy the ultimate task is to come to the leftmost junction and equate your input and output and you have you should be careful in these steps because many people just see the force and write down 4x plus 4y that's wrong there is a sign reversal here you have to equate what is this branch that goes through the integrator all right so we're gonna do the second step right now we'll, we'll have a differential equation and we will come back to the we'll go to the canonical form one so that's this is our differential equation and if you are a little bit algorithmic you can easily see our first step should be to make two distinct side one which is which has no differentiation and another one which has all different derivatives right so we're gonna do that right now so if we take y on this that side that becomes 5x plus y and you see on the right hand side there was a lot of uh, we have made sure that we have took the d square d terms and the particular derivative terms in a bracket we're gonna do that again so what are the d cube terms that means triple derivative terms simply y and if we take that in that side that's going to be 2x and what are going to be the d square terms that's going to be 2y and if we take this on the left hand side that's going to be minus 6x what simply d term is going to be y and plus 7x so this is the form which we can make a simulation diagram of now so here are we, how we're going to do that there is going to be a line on a branch electrical engineers should call it branch branch for x your input and y your output all right so first let's handle the left hand side it's simple 5x plus y so you're going to take a multiplier from x that's 5 and a multiplier from y that's simply y and add them right that gives you 5x plus y and your left hand side portion is basically done you'll have to handle the right hand side portion now now what are the things that goes through triple derivatives so uh, there are going to be um, first of all let's make it even more clear and there are three derivatives maximum of three derivatives so there are going to be three integral signs and before those integral signs there are going to be adders to make sure that which of the terms are going to go through the third derivative or second derivative or first derivatives all right so let's draw the ultimate form first of all adder integrator adder then going to be an integrator then going to be an adder and then ultimately going to be an integrator all right so th this junction is going to go through three derivatives so this is going to be the d cube junction and the d cube junctions value should be y plus twice x right so it's it back it seems like it should be two on uh, this portion from x that gives twice x but really let's try to see let's call these junctions u okay then what do we get u plus 2x is equals to y right so that gives me u equals to y minus twice x we don't want there so there is going to be a sign reversal before two that's minus two now what is going to be the d squared terms now the d squared term now the d squared term is twice y minus 6x so this junction has to be twice y minus 6x all right so at first it might think that's going to be 2 
and that's going to be 6 but let's really try to evaluate that that's v so v is equals to b plus twice x plus 6y is equals to let's call it p or whatever you want is equals to p so v is equals to p plus sorry there is going to be 6 on here yeah really really sorry that's minus 6 and that's 2 at first you might think there is going to be minus 6x plus 2y so what that leads to be minus 6x plus 2y so b is equals to be p is equal v is equals to p minus twice y plus 6x so p is already handled in the d cube terms in this integrator so we don't have to bother about that but the rest terms becomes exactly opposite of what we want so there is also going to be sign reversal this is going to be plus it's also going to be a minus all right and ultimately there is also going to be sign reversal on this term as you might already guess from the algorithm so it begs for y plus 7x so for x the coefficient is going to be minus 7 and for y the coefficient is going to be minus 1 all right so that's all this is a simulation diagram for our differential equation you see the working rule is you uh, you make two distinct side one without derivatives and one with derivatives and then on the left hand side you try to equate the terms without derivatives and on the right hand side you simply decide which are the terms that's going to go through three integrators which are the terms that's going to go through two integrators and that's all that's that's more of more or less the algorithm for simulation diagram one in the next video we'll understand simulation canonical form two thank you